Good evening, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, this video, we're gonna give an uh, introduction to the Express.js. Okay, so first, why do we need to have a uh, use Express.js? What kind of problem Express.js solve for us, right? So let's go back to the uh, source code we wrote from last video which is we have a server and uh, now this one is very simple one which is just to save block into the file system and uh, now the question we also bring up is, uh, in last video is suppose our web application has so many pages okay so how could i write a code here to handle like 100 pages okay different routes in order to do that, from here you already see we have to have lots of the if else condition here, which is really not nice. And also suppose we are not using pipe, okay? And here also has a problem when we're using pipe inside the block dot txt, it's gonna have a key value pair. But whatever we send to the server side, uh, we save to the file or save to the, uh, the database, it shouldn't have the key, it should only have the value. In order to do that properly, we have, we have to think about another way, which is a listen for the event data and uh, the end, then to extract the value from the request body. So this kind of like a if else condition here or extract data from request uh, object, which is like a tedious job. And also if else condition, if else, if else, those condition here is against the principle like open for extension design, uh, clo close for modification, this basic principle. So this kind of code using vanilla API, we cannot get around of that. So here we have a better solution, which is a framework. The framework we we have also we have lots of choice, and the one we are gonna learn is called Express Express .js, Okay, and um, Express .js is a framework. Okay. Uh, let me grab the thing, the pad. Express.js is a framework. Is a framework. What is a framework? You can think of a framework as a ha contains lots of uh, utility function or helper function, which will ease your job on developing applications especially um, uh, developing applications compared with uh, using vanilla APIs. So here, Express is your easier life when you want to using Node to build a web application. And Express.js is built on top of on top of Node.js HTTP module. Okay, it's built on top of that. So it just add a lot of helper or uh, utility features, which can ease your life, okay, to develop your application. And we can summarize in three parts. The first part is like a parse uh, request and uh, uh, send response. Okay, he can help you to uh, extract the re uh, object, okay, from request. Okay, he can help you to render HTML. He can help you to send response easily, okay. This is the first area of uh, no, uh, Express.js helping you. And the second one is called the routing. 
especially this part help you routing. You can get rid of those uh, uh, um, if else condition. So it will uh, route your request based on the uh, based on the incoming uh, request. Okay, okay, just uh, you routing your request. It's much easier. And also, it can filter or validate your request, the incoming request. What does this part do? Part do? This part is uh, suppose filter and validate. Suppose uh, for a particular for um, add in online shopping. For add a product, it should be done by admin. For normal user who shop, who is a shopper of our website, they cannot add products. So with Express, we it can help you to filter and validate the incoming request. Okay, it can also do the authentication authorization on the incoming requests. This is a one. And next one is managing data. This one can be like um, because HTTP is a status, right? So how can I remember this uh, consecutive request is from a same user? Then you have to maintain a session. We can use Express uh, to help us to maintain the session. And also, it can help you to work with the files. And <coughs> excuse me, suppose you want to work with work with the database, it also can help you to manage the connections with that. So that's all the benefits we gain if we using a framework. So you can. Uh, you can focus on your business logic, don't need to do those repetitive tasks, and also make sure our code follow, follows the best practice. So that's it for the introduction of Express, and start from next video, we're going to start using or coding using Express. Okay, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.